Hi, my name is John Deal. I'm from the Regional Support Centre here in the northwest of the UK. And I'm here to just provide you with a quick overview of the functional skills resources that I've updated um, today, uh, the 29th of November uh, 2013. It's a year since I actually pulled Live Binder together uh, for the first time. And in the Live Binder, I did, let's just go to the functional skills resources and the original files. Okay, I did produce this um, resource that is a PDF. It's embedded within the Live Binder. And as I scroll through, you'll see there's a bit about functional skills, what we as RS North Northwest can do to help, and um, various questions and so on. But there's an index. So, for example, if I wanted to go to, let's say, BBC Skillwise, there it is straight away with a little bit of text and a link to the particular website. If you scroll down a page, you will actually come to the return to the contents page and you're back where you were. OK, so that was what I produced last time. Uh, a bit later on, I actually made it more interactive by using a tool called Flipsnack, which I've just brought up here. And I'm not going to zoom in, but you can zoom in by double clicking and then dragging the page about. But you can turn pages, as you can see. And again, if I click on a link, it will jump straight to that page. I will zoom in. There you go. Uh, let me just use the slider and zoom in. This one is Sound Gecko. It allows people to listen to any article on the web uh, on the go anywhere. OK, that's just one of the resources. And again, if I zoom back out, I can return to the contents page or flick back through pages. OK, just escape from that. So that was the interactive version. Well, I've brought out a new version. We, as I say, are the 29th of November as I'm recording this. And it was earlier this morning that I actually produced this. So if I go to the functional skills resource tab at the top, here is, sorry about that, as an email, and I bet it pops up on the screen in a minute. Um, here is the uh, functional skills update. I'll just scroll down it a little. You'll notice that it provides tools, resources, and video links that are in addition to the first one that I publicized. Uh, I hope you find the uh, document useful and that um, you will be encouraged to uh, provide some feedback or even share some resources that you've got. Again, if I um, just zoom, click on one of these, Film English, for example, it'll be at the top of the page. Just bear with me. There you go. Film English. Uh, brainchild of a teacher trainer, Kieran Donner here, and it tells you about it and a link directly to it. So you can go and evaluate and decide on whether it is appropriate to enhance your current resources and or to use with your learners or to give a heads up to your learners for them to use. Again, we can return to the menu at the bottom of each page. As before, there is an interactive version, again using Flipsnack. And you'll see, here we go, again flipping through the pages. There are two pages of links here. There's the functional English at the beginning. I think there's 10 links that I found that I think may be useful. There is the functional maths, and I suppose the fact that I was a physics and maths teacher when I taught in secondary schools, and I uh, continue to teach maths and have been helping various people with maths ever since, it's not surprising that there's 31 maths um, finds in addition to what was there. There are uh, four or five functional skills ones, and there are four or five general ones as well. In fact, I think there's nine general ones looking at that. Again, English for adults, 
okay uh, the maths in everyday life which is really what functional skills is about and the ICT that uh, could enhance your current delivery and uh, a bit of general at the end this symbol here being maths and English and ICT this last section okay I, again at the bottom of any page you can return to the main menu and it's only one click back to the cover so let's just move up so I can see the tabs well, most of these resources have come from various curation sites for example my own website um, where I curate various resources it's appearing now uh, and again if I scroll through that uh, at the top of the page there will when it's finished loading be a link to uh, the e-magazine that I publish there is uh, links to the podcast that I produce and and so it goes on I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on it there is a, a mobile blog there the links to all of these are shown at the top of the pages but there is a, a mobile blog there from my what dl is happening uh, i must apologize that's not updated as often as it ought to be there is the aco john daily newspaper and again all of these will have functional skills posts within them there's the muzzy posts that i do uh, and and again as you can see there's quite a number of sub tabs across there I mean so I quite like the one that I've published here uh, which was last night which is five simple questions that um, practitioners can ask what do you think why do you think that how do you know what you're saying can you tell me more and what questions do you still have i think those five are ones that i used over and over in my teaching and learning the only two clicks is uh, an archive of earlier resources but it's not just about functional skills as you can see there's all sorts of various tabs here but if i click on the functional skills one you'll see when it decides to load that there are a lot of resources in there as well that you can have a look at each one in fact has a little bit of text about it as you'll see that's the embedded learning portal contains online version of skills for life materials uh, that's an embedded learning portal uh, so there are a whole load of resources and as i say i'm not going to go through every single one of those because i'm conscious that i've had eight minutes of your time already and as i said you can look at this at a time to suit you functional skills padlets okay i have in here now and this is new as of today added in a padlet it's a communication channel if you like it will allow you to um to add resources that you would like to share it will allow you to provide constructive feedback to ask questions of other people who uh, do functional skills and hopefully to engage with each other in what can be quite a demanding uh, curriculum area the when there are several posts on here you can actually click on these and a slideshow comes up and it will go through step by step it does give instructions on the page which if you double click as it says there on the background you'll see that the uh, a little text box comes up and if you click in the top it says your name post title that doesn't disappear but if i put in my name um, and then demo because that's what it is at the moment and then in the uh, i'll write something here it'll be a case of uh, i've uh, used this to demonstrate oh missed the space that helps if i look john to demonstrate how it all 
works. Got two ons in demonstrate there. Okay. The little link here, I could add a URL, an image, a video, a map, a slideshow, a document, and the list goes on and on and on. To here, I could upload a file, a PDF file perhaps, or, or some other sort of file. And that one will allow me to take a picture with the webcam and it will be attached. You will be able to edit any post that you have put on yourself. For example, I put this on earlier so I can edit that. Uh, that's partly because I'm signed in, uh, but it will recognize the computer if it's the same computer. Uh, and hopefully I, I will hear from you. And again, I'll click on here to delete that message. Yeah, OK, remove it because it's not relevant to what this is aimed at. OK, uh, this is available again as a standalone. So you don't have to come into the live binder to actually communicate through the functional skills collaboration uh, forum that I've set up. Um, one thing I have said though is that when this starts to fill up a bit and it, it clutters, the, one of the nice things about Padlet is you can export it and put it in as a document. And what I propose to do is to do that every now and then and then put a link to documents that you can go in and look at at a later date. Okay, let's just run back to the home page so that you can uh, write down the live binder if you so wish. Thank you for your time. I've had uh, just under 12 minutes, or it's about to come up to 12 minutes. If there are any questions, um, do feel free to contact me. I'll put the the uh, email address was on earlier and uh, we'll talk again hopefully soon. And perhaps next time I can be there with you face to face or at least live rather than a recording as this is. Thanks for your time. That's all from me, John Dio, until hopefully we meet again, either online or face to face.